Welcome to the 2024 New Mexico Bowl in beautiful Albuquerque. Today's matchup has the Florida International Panthers of Conference USA taking on the Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West. The Cowboys are 11-2 and defeated the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors in a 36-35 thriller to win the Mountain West Conference Championship. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings A look at the very first college football playoff bracket. The Cowboys 2024 individual stats.
Offensive coordinator Zach Kilpatrick has received four offers from schools wanting him to become their offensive coordinator. He has turned them all down to stay at Wyoming. A look at the 2024 bowl season matchups. And now, the 2024 New Mexico Bowl, as the 8-5 Florida International Panthers of Conference USA takes on the 11-2 Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico, the land of enchantment, and today home to the Isleta New Mexico Bowl. Weeks of additional practice and prep for bowl games not only can set the tone for what we're going to see in this game, but for what might be in store next season as well. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Florida International Panthers, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. team out there ready to tee it up in this bowl game looking for blockers not a lot of space to be found good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21 so the FIU Panthers offense takes the field for the first time today when your quarterback takes the field you want him to look just like this guy exuding confidence yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back, and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. They feed him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put six DBs on the field in my dime package and I can still get home rushing four. My guys up front are better than your guys, and we're going to go prove it. And they did just that. FIU will line up to punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. And the returner will be brought down. So the Wyoming Cowboys offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our... Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team. And generally, games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. 
He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And that one's incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. On the move. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll throw on third and short. Using the quick game. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Got his man quickly. And the defense dragged him down. After giving up a few extra yards after a hitch throw, I wonder if this defense is going to want to give this guy this much access moving forward. They might be thinking about more press coverage or playing some zone coverage where the corner's right up on him. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Wide open downfield. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. And I like it. Third down and short, and this offense stays aggressive, and now they're set up. Forget the field goal. We're not looking for three now. Now set up in a first and goal, trying to get a touchdown. A first down run on the doorstep. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. That's one he'd like to have back. The defense snuffed out any attempt to move forward on the last play, and now it's third and goal from the two. Going for six. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. What a throw by the QB. You think about it, you don't have much space near the sideline, and he put that thing right on the outside of the sideline where his receiver could go make a play. Not only does he make the play, I'm pretty sure he got a foot in bounds, and that's a great touchdown catch. What a Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Florida International offense is back on the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah. Ball is free. And he coughed it up, and good thing he got it back himself. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Running to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Using his legs, it's Owens. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. FIU will line up to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming here. Just shy of the 30. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is snowed under. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job of ball security. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. That's a perfect example. Every yardage you can and help out the offense. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. Running with power. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that. But here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. What squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its glory. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Fires deep toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Going to run it. It's Owens. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone. Stay balanced. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. Here on third down for this offense. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. On first and goal, let's see if FIU can get it in. They'll try to get it in with the run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Now he's looking to throw it. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. To the air, it's Jenkins. And it's incomplete on third down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. From the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And they desperately... Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You've got the lead. you got the football. you got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. He'll run it again. The Cowboys get enough to move the chains. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that one play to pick up the first. Power football with the run. Makes him talk to the hand. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. And the Cowboys will snap it on first and 10. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and then it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special to take the field with your guys one more time, but playing in games that had so much history. One thing I've noticed from talking to coaches about their approach to bowl games is how many of them use it as a springboard for next season. They try to focus on developing some of the new guys, maybe, that have joined them for the bowl practices. I mean, you get 15-plus extra practices. You start to play and experience more as young guys. The older guys get a little bit more rest. But, yeah, you're building the future. You're building the foundation. You're working on your technique. And you know what? You also get to have some fun. I think that's important for team building is having fun at your location, doing the different things together to start to build that unity that will make a big difference in the future. Yeah, there's a saying in college football that your freshman year, when you get to bowl season, you're no longer a freshman. A lot of players grow up and get the extra practices mentally and from a confidence standpoint, you turn the page. I can remember back to my true freshman year, we we're getting ready to play Penn State. We had a lot of NFL talent in my freshman class, and everybody just seemed to grow a foot taller. They're playing with a different intensity level that really paid off for us the next year. And the quarterback goes down at the 11 yard line. Well, they take a sack right down by the goal line, guys, and I think the route concept really didn't help the quarterback out there. Normally, you're thinking this is going to be a quick hitter, get the ball out of his hands fast, but that was a very slow developing route concept. I think that's the biggest reason he got sacked. Third and goal from way back there. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. 
You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. You know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early. And this one, they just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. FIU pushing tempo. They'll give it to the back. Shakes off the defender. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. FIU will line up to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. And the return. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was. Looking deep down the right side. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Well, even though that pass was incomplete, I wouldn't be shocked if this defense in the second half decides to play some deeper coverages. This offense has already shown. They're willing to be aggressive, and they've got a lot of speed. Moving forward, this defense cannot afford to give up big plays in the passing game. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. He's got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wyoming. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. 
quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. On the move from inside is five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Florida International offense is back on the field. Back to throw, it's Jenkins. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Gets it out quickly. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where they And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Owens. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. No good. Really needed to cut into that deficit, but guys, it remains at three scores. in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Reese, thanks. You put these two programs together given the seasons they had, and we figured we might get a notable first half in this New Mexico Bowl. And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. But the kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. With that said, let's send it back to Reese and the guys for the conclusion of the New Mexico Bowl. And he takes this from inside the five.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They more than got the job done in the first half. Now the job in a bowl game. Don't get distracted and finish the deal here in the second half. I mean, love the way they came out. They had all that time off, didn't look rusty at all, came out with the foot on the accelerator, looked really, really good. Palmer, you just more of the same here in the second half. I agree. And if you're on that sideline right now, now's not the time to be thinking about the offseason, your strength program, what classes you're taking in the spring. You need to focus on finishing this game and punctuating this season. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They say success rate can be picking up about four or so on first down, first and ten. He wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's King. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Second down coming up. They go to the ground. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Here on third down. The gift to the fullback. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. And that's a nice stop by this defense. Nice job stopping the run, setting up fourth and inches. Listen, this is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback sneak, fullback dive, whatever it is that we do great, and I'm going to get my inches. Looking for a block. It's Jackson. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Here comes the offense on first down. From the gun, running back on the move. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. FIU pushing tempo. They'll give it to him again. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Offense lining up quickly. Off the play fake. Then the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking for a man. It's Jenkins. Fires to the wideout. And they can't make the connection on third down. FIU will line up to punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Signals for the fair catch. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's King. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. A first down for the offense. This time, they'll go to the running game. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. 
Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. He's going to pass on second down. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Just ran him over. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. I'm not sure what the quarterback saw on that one, but that was a very quick decision to take off and run with it to try to get his offense some positive yards. The Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. Going up top on first down. He's got an open man. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Running back searching for a hole. Finds a crease at the 20. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. well when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, and just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. And the Cowboys have it in scoring position on first and goal. Barge is ahead. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And the pummeling has started. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. On to attempt the try. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. He marched 78 yards down the field, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Got rid of it just in time. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. FIU will line up to punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And no chance for the return. Man. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over them football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. 
They'll leave it with him. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Looking to throw at Svoboda. Quickly complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. Wants to throw on first down. Looking to the big tight end. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Defense were always trying to get some tips, you know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw right down the middle. It's caught downfield. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. On the move, it's Scott. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Quarterback will audible. To the ground with the back. The Cowboys get it past the sticks. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Might as well give it to him again. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll try to knock it through from 33 yards out. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Guys, after this dominating performance, I guess the head coach wanted to be able to yell at the special teams coordinator.
work on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. FIU will line up to punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He will make the fair catch. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. On the ground, it's Scott. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll go to the ground. Running with some authority as he bangs his way to the 43. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options are on the table. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? To the ground to try to pick up the first. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. To the ground, he's got it again. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. The give to the back. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. The clock is my friend. If I can do this late in the ball game with a lead and I can continue to run the football and they have no answers, well, then I'm going to walk away with a win. So, listen, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep pounding the football, keep running the clock. The gift to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Looking for room. It's Scott. And tackled there by the defense. These are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball on second and long? You stink, OC. Or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Well, it just seems like everything is working for the offense on this drive. Another nice game, this time on the ground. And the Cowboys will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Bring 
Now on second and goal. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Trying to get to him. Touchdown, Wyoming! And the stomping has commenced. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring and the defense better do something about it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Florida International offense is back on the field. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Well, this defense thought coming into this one they could get after the quarterback, but I'm not sure, guys, if they thought they'd have this much success. Everything they've dialed up has gotten home. They've got six sacks in this game. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Throws to the wideout. He's open on the right. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. The aerial assault continues. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Offense in an empty set. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. He caught it. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting gift, a consolation prize, if you will. In a lot of losses, you just want to burn the tape. You don't want to watch it. But I think there are some things that they can take into next week from this performance. No doubt. Offense is about finding your rhythm, finding your groove, what you do well. And you can tell, at least now, starting to get a little something-something going and maybe you can do it. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point cuts into the lead just a touch, 35 to 10. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Well, we are wrapping up a really outstanding performance for this offense. Yeah, and they're sending out the seniors on the right foot. Guys, we've seen a lot of great football. There have been so many tremendous moments and in individual efforts, David. This is a year in college football I know I'll never forget. Won't forget it. Loved working with you guys. Loved being in the booth. Loved covering these football games. And I'll tell you what, a lot of excitement in college football surrounding the sport, man. Let's just keep loving on it. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give as they work on that clock. He's got it out to the 37 after gaining five. 
and I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down marker. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. On the run, it's Hobbs. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. When you know you have a team outclassed, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.